Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my final prediction for Miss Supernational 2023. Welcome. So this is already my final prediction for Miss Supernational 2023 and let me just say that this is the most exciting edition ever because the competition is very open. There is no clear front runner. Everyone is a front runner based on your own perspective. Unlike last year where La Leila is a very obvious win and the previous years as well. But this year, I'm just so... So, I mean, I was, it was so messed up. I, mean, I was making the prediction and I was changing my winners every now and then until I decided this is it. This is my final choices. And wow, this unpredictability of the pageant is very exciting. But for someone like us who's making leaderboards, it's also an additional pressure because we don't know if we will get the correct winner or not. But anyway, it's really something that makes us look forward to the pageant tonight. Am I confident with my leaderboard? Hell no! But I just followed my heart and whom I think could do very well tonight. But based on my leaderboard, I'm proud of the list that I made. But if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But this is what my heart tells me as of the moment. So this is it. Let's talk about it. My final prediction. My final top 24. Let's begin. Number 24, Togo. Matilde Honiglo. She has been one of the one of the biggest surprises at the prelims. Her performances were decent. I loved her energy and she was strikingly beautiful. She deserves to get a spot. Number 23, Indonesia. Yacinta Aurelia. I would really love for Indonesia to place and do very well, especially with the track record that they have at Miss Supernational. But if I have to be honest, her performances to me were pretty safe based on what I've seen. However, if she makes it tonight, I hope she levels up her game so that she could go far in the top 12 or even in the top 5 and prove me wrong. Number 22, Cuba. Monica Aguilar. A very solid contender at the prelims and a great speaker as well. So based on the performances that she is giving, I truly feel that she is worthy of a spot in the finals. However, going far and into proceeding to the next round would solely depend on her finale performance. Number 21, Botswana. Dabilo Moses, one of my favorites from the African region. Her runway performances were very, very strong. Actually, one of my favorites from the group. Her walk was really good. I would love to see a gown change in the finals. Also, as one of the strongest speakers, I believe that she must be rewarded with a placement, especially that this is their first participation. So she has set a standard for her future successors. Number 20, Spain. Lola Wilson, one of the best faces this year and her stage presence was very strong. I would love to see a bit more polishing and a way stronger performance than what she gave in the preliminaries. And if she could do that, then she could go very far. Number 19, Venezuela. Celine Delgado. Venezuela was good as expected. She's stunning. I loved her during the swimsuit, but I wasn't a fan of her performance during the evening gown because I, I, I felt like the delivery and the execution could be much better than what she gave. I also wanted her to be memorable, especially with a batch this strong where any, any, anyone could be on top of the list because one one thing that I noticed about Venezuela is that although she's good at times, but at most times there's really a tendency for her to be overshadowed by many candidates. So one thing that I would really wanted her to work on is to be memorable. Number 18, Curaçao, Andreina Pereira. This girl has fought so hard during the preliminaries and I can really feel it. 
And if it's just me, she deserves a placement. She was amazing at both rounds. She was consistent during the entire duration of the event and very well-spoken candidate too. So a placement must be reserved for her. Number 17, United States. Riley Spinks. I love United States. She is an amazing representative, but I somehow felt that her prelims were quite underwhelming. However, I see a potential for her to go very far if she improved her performances in the finals. Of course, this leaderboard is just purely based on what they have given us from the start of the event until the preliminaries. If something changed in the finals, then I will be supporting her and will be cheering for her if she advanced to the top 12 or even to the top 5. Also, gown change, please. Number 16, United Kingdom. Emma Rose Calling Ridge. I think her runway performances has tremendously improved and see she is such a likable candidate. I know this placement is a little bit low, but I would not complain if she goes far as far as top 12 because this woman deserves it. Number 15, Canada. Alexa Marie Grant. Canada has proven her worth to be in the in this competition. She nailed the swims of preliminaries. It was her best, but she needs to do an evening gown change as well. The gown choice was a little bit too much for her aura and for her personality. I want to see something that really matches her, something that would really make her a standout. As one of the best speakers of this batch, there is no doubt that one of the spots is reserved for her as well. Number 14, Puerto Rico. Camille Fabery. In terms of performance, I think Puerto Rico can deliver a solid performance. Her prelims were actually quite strong. However, I wanted her to give a performance that is top 5 worthy and not a performance that is only top 24 worthy. I saw her give some impressive performances before and if she can pull those into the finals, then she could be a game changer. Number 13, South Africa. Ayanda Tabete, I would love to replicate what I said during the pre-preliminary leaderboards that I gave. But now, after seeing the prelims, there's no denying that her energy on stage was superb. She has that contagious energy and smile. But let me just be honest, her performance was quite, was not there yet. Again, let me repeat. Ayanda is an incredibly strong speaker. She's my choice to win the Supra Chat. But if ever she wanted to get a hold of that microphone in the top 5, she needs to level up what she has given during the swimsuit and evening gown preliminaries. Now let's go to the next cut, my top 12. Number 12, Malaysia. Deidre Walker. I would really love to see Malaysia go as far as top 12. She was incredible during the prelims and her evolution in this competition was one of the most spectacular things that I've seen. If she can manage to go into the top 5 tonight, it would be the best thing ever. And with the performance that she gave in the preliminaries, she could actually be able to do that. Number 11, Colombia. Valentina Mora, she is living up to what Colombia's, Colombia is in pageantry. Very strong woman, she's stunning, and her figure looked amazing, and her performances were smooth to perfection. I think we all have the same comments in her performances at the prelims, that we would love to see some more personality and some more smile from her in her runway performances. But nevertheless, she's good. Number 10, the Czech Republic. Marie Jedlikova. I felt like this placement is a little bit low because honestly, I am cheering for her to go to the top five. Her performances in the prelims were good, but it doesn't scream top five worthy yet. I know she's changing her gown in the finals and, it, and she knows I love her very, very much. If she pulls her ace in the finals, then don't be surprised if Czech Republic will be called in the top five. Number nine, Mexico. Vanessa Lopez, I may be putting her at ninth, but the other side of myself is telling me that she could make the top five. 
Her brilliant performances were solid, strong. She was consistent during the entire duration and the different activities that they, they did. And she speaks so damn well too. She's one of the ladies that we need to watch out for because she could be causing some huge damage on many leaderboards. Number eight, Ecuador. Andrea Aguilera, she has given one of the most solid and probably a performance that we would enjoy as pageant followers. But sometimes she tends to be pageant patty and too rehearsed in terms of her performances. However, I do believe that if she polishes everything, then she might go for the kill and pull a top five and even a victory. I have seen many leaderboards earlier where she is in the top five. I can see that happening. But as for my case, I'll put her at number eight as of the moment. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if she makes the top five. Number seven, the Philippines. Pauline Amelinx, solid performances in the prelims, very strong performances to be honest. One of the best speakers in the group, which gives a sure possibility for her getting a placement. Another candidate that requires a gown change because I don't see her winning with that gown. Do I see Philippines making the top five? Yes, if and only if her performances would be twice better than the prelims. And everybody should be nervous if she makes the top five because she could even pull a victory. Number six, India. Pragna Ayagari. Honestly, India is supposed to be in my top five, but I decided to just put her at number six because her recent styling has been on and off for me which is weird because she has been consistently strong in the early days of the competition let me just put it this way india could make the top five she will be in the top five if she comes out tonight with a styling and performance that screams top five now let's go to my official top five for my final prediction my fourth runner-up goes to thailand patra porn wang with her performances at the prelims i am quite confident to say that there is no doubt that she would make the top five she deserves to be here and placement would only be a matter of preference or depending on how she would deliver her final answer my third runner-up goes to brazil saint Clair, france I was actually considering Brazil to be my winner as well, but decided to just put her at this placement because even if she has given one of my favorite preliminary performances, she also has a tendency to be lost during interviews. However, if she can manage to prove me wrong, I wouldn't be surprised if she wins tonight. Second runner-up, Zimbabwe, Sakile Dube. I would be very sad if Zimbabwe doesn't make top 5. This woman has a stage presence and aura that no one can match. The moment she steps out on stage, you can really feel her presence. Her performances were on point, they were very strong, and she speaks very well. So to me, a sure top 5. My first runner-up goes to Dominican Republic, Crystal Matos. Some people I talked to prior to releasing this leaderboard questioned why I placed Dominican Republic so high. But again, if I am wrong, then I am wrong. But I just have so much love and faith that Dominican Republic will deliver tonight. Her strong preliminary performances just proved that she is one of the best. She is also a very strong speaker and I have seen some clips behind the scene and she is one of the nicest and sweetest girl in the competition and everything about her just gives me Miss Supernational vibes so don't be shocked if she wins tonight but my choice to win Miss Supernational 2023 goes to Peru Valeria Flores Peru could very well take home their first crown I know it has been an excellent choice by the organization the moment they chose to send Valeria to Miss Supernational. Her energy, charisma, and how she enjoyed her preliminary performances was just a beautiful sight to see and a great example on how you must enjoy every experience but nailing it at the same time. I truly felt that Valeria would be an excellent representation for the organization if she wins Miss Supernational 2023. So that's it. 
this is my final prediction for Miss Supernational 2023. And I would love to know your thoughts about my ranking, my leaderboard, and my result. I would love to read your commentaries at the comment section. So, don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.